Hey, how are you guys doing today? Currently, I am at Fort Pierce trying to do a little bit of saltwater fishing here. Funny thing is, I wasn't actually supposed to fish today. Me and my girlfriend just kind of came here on vacation with her grandpa. We were on the beach, then we came over to this area where like everybody was fishing. We saw people catching like the craziest fish. Huge black drum, a whole bunch of sheep's head, just like red drum. Just like so much stuff is out here. So we had to take a detour and I went all the way back. I got my fishing stuff. I got some live shrimp. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm bringing that up really quickly. And hopefully we can get on some fish here. So pretty much the plan for today besides just catching some fish, I definitely want to do a little bit of a catch and cook. Hopefully we'll be able to do that today. So yeah, pretty much I do not have my GoPro chesty with me. You guys will like see in a little bit. All I have is this camera and my cell phone. Hopefully this camera has enough battery because I do not really know if it has enough battery. All right, now here is the setup that I was using. As you guys can see, there's a sinker going down to a swivel, going down to a bait hook. I was putting live shrimp on there and I was just kind of bouncing it on the bottom and I was using a medium rod. Now this whole video was completely unplanned and a little bit rushed. As I said before, I was not supposed to fish this day, but I'm happy I did, man. Let's get right here into the fishing. Now, as I mentioned, I did not have my GoPro chest mount set up. So in that sense, this is going to be a little different than all of my other videos. But it did not take me too long to hook up into my very first fish. Oh, this is good. What the heck is this? What the heck is that? First fish of the day. We just got here throwing some shrimp out. What exactly is this? Is this a big fish again? Oh, yeah. I think this is like another one of those big fish. Yeah, it looks like one. Yeah, it is. All right, guys, there you go. First fish of the day out here. Where are we exactly? I mean, we're at Fort Pierce. This is like my first time throwing a live shrimp into the water. We got a pig fish right off the bat. Now, this guy is actually coming home to catch a cook with us. A lot of you guys in my last video told me that pig fish were like really good to eat. So this guy is definitely going to be coming home with us. Yeah, guys, there we go. First fish of the day. We haven't been here. What? We've been here for like five minutes. We already got on this nice sized pig fish. This is like bigger than any of the other ones that we caught the other day. Let's freaking go. Definitely one thing I have to say about this kind of fishing though, it is so easy to lose your shrimp. Just like these fish steal it like crazy. But honestly though, that just makes it so much more rewarding when you do hook into something. Oh my gosh, all right. Holy crap. I gotta get down here. Oh, it's a nice sheep's head. Ooh, that's so pretty. Holy crap. All right, all right, let me get it up here. That is the first sheep's head that I've ever caught, ever. That's so pretty. Holy crap. There we go. Oh my God, let's freaking go. Oh my God. That is the first sheep's head that I've ever caught, ever. You gotta be really careful with these guys because if you can get a zoom in their mouth, see how they have like human teeth? You see that? Yeah, take this out really carefully. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is a nice size sheep's head right there. Can you guys freaking see that? Holy crap. I am so freaking happy right now. When I was pulling that up, that felt so huge. That is a big, like, that is a good size sheep's head right there. All right. I'm happy now, man. That is so worth it. Guys, we are out here in this rain. We don't have much time to fish here today, but just catching like, this is my first sheep's head ever. I'm like beyond happy right now. All right, can you take a picture of it? All right, guys, so here's the plan here. You guys saw me just catch that really nice sheep's head. I'm like so happy about that. And you know, I also caught that pig fish earlier in the video. This is gonna be kind of like a cool, interesting catch and cook that we're going to do. Now, sheep's head, I've heard a lot of good things about sheep's head. People say that it's really good tasting fish. That it is just amazing. And on the other hand, pig fish is kind of known as a trash fish. Like people pretty much use it for bait. Not many people eat pig fish, or at least that's what I've been told. You know, like from all the fish around here so a little bit later on in this video we're gonna be doing like a really interesting like catch and cook type thing like just wait for it it's gonna be pretty cool in the meantime hopefully we can catch some fish this camera might die it is a little bit blown battery but let's see how this goes here all right guys it's now raining i'm using my phone right now camera died but as you guys can see i just caught this oh gosh chill 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 i just caught this nice black drum here oh my gosh dude this was such an awesome catch this guy hit like a train and he peeled drag like crazy i'm gonna throw him back but that was just that is just so sick let's freaking go man i'm so happy right now all right, y'all, now let's get on to the next part of the video here. So as you guys just saw, being almost completely unprepared for this little adventure right here, we ended up not doing too bad. We honestly were not fishing for too long. Basically, I don't know if I really explained this, but Kelsey and I drove down to her grandpa's house to kind of hang out with him for the day. We were at my sister's apartment, but we drove down there. It was like a two hour drive. And as I said before, we were chilling on the beach around there and then the clouds started to roll in. So then we ended up going over to that pier, jetty, whatever you really want to call it. And before it started drizzling, it kind of like drizzled throughout the whole day. But before that, man, people were pulling in so many fish 
and Kelsey could tell like she was looking at me and it was literally like hurting me seeing people catch all these fish that I've never caught before. We didn't really have an agenda so I drove back, got my rods from our car that we parked at his house that we came back, got some shrimp, caught all the supplies that I needed and we really didn't spend too much time there like I said but I mean we got some fish. And that kind of leads into this next section right here. So as I said before I mean some of you guys did recommend me to try some pig fish. It's actually interesting because some of you guys did say it was pretty good but overall it is like known as a trash fish. So, like I asked this guy on the pier just to make sure it was a pig fish just so I wasn't like taking anything illegal. He said it was a pig fish and he said dude just don't eat it. That's all he really said. He did not speak too much English. All he really said was bait fish do not eat, no good to eat. And on the other hand, we caught a sheep's head. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and I've just heard people talk about sheep's head like it's a really tasty fish. So in this next part of the video, we're gonna be cooking up both of these fish. We're gonna be comparing these two fish, the trash fish versus the fish that people tend to eat. See which one we like better, see if there is a difference at all. And there's also gonna be a little twist to it as well. I'm gonna have some other people trying the fish, seeing if they can tell which one is which. It's gonna be pretty cool. All I'm really gonna do is cook up a tiny bit of each fish cause we're gonna save the other for some meals. Yeah man, enough talking. Let's get right into this catch and cook here. So as you guys can see right here, I just let the butter melt in the pan over there. I'm putting some salt and a little bit of pepper on the fish. And then I went over and got the lemon juice, just sprayed a little bit of that in the pan with the butter, just kind of let that fall in love. And it's really simple. I mean, that's all that I really did. I just wanted to get the natural taste of the fish. So as you can see, I put the fish one in at a time, just so I can kind of keep track of which is which. And these dudes cooked up like real quick. And before I knew it, it was time for the taste test. Just to show you guys, here are the two finished products. This is the sheep's head, and over here, this is the pig fish. So honestly, they both look pretty good. None of them look like trash fish at all to me. I mean, that might just be the chef, but <laughs> you know. All right, y'all, so here we have the two fish right here. As you can see, this is the pig fish. This is the sheep's head over here. So really quickly, I'm just gonna give these guys a taste test. All right, first over here, I'm just gonna try the pig fish really quickly. Hmm, that's weird. It kind of tastes like, I think I put too much salt on these. It's not bad, it's just really salty. I think I put too much salt on these. It kind of tastes like pork. I don't know if it's just because of the salt. That's kind of weird though. Pig fish, pork, I don't know. Not bad though. Okay, next, sheep's head. Apparently this is a really good fish. I've always wanted to try sheep's head. That's actually pretty good. They're both kind of salty. I put a lot of salt on them. I didn't know I put that much salt. This isn't like the normal salt shaker that I usually use. Not bad though. I wouldn't say that one is specifically better than the other. They're just really salty. I kind of messed it up a little bit. So we're going to go into this other room. I have my girlfriend Kelsey here. I have my sister whose name is Rebecca and then my brother-in-law Jason and they're going to try these fish. I'm not going to tell them which fish is which. They're just going to kind of give it a little taste and they're going to tell me what fish they think is better. So this is going to be pretty interesting. They have no idea what is what. I don't think any of them have had any of these fish before. So this is going to be interesting. Okay so one of these fish is known as a trash fish. Like people just use it for bait and everything like that. And the other one is like fish that people tend to normally eat. They say it's a tasty fish. So Kelsey, do you want to go first? Oh, yeah. Okay, that one was pretty good. That one, you think that one's good? Was it too salty? I put a lot of salt on it. No, I didn't think it was salty at all. all right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like watching. <laughs> Right, no. Which one do you think was which really quick? So which one do you think was a trash I don't know, fish? they taste the same to me. You think they both taste pretty good? I don't know, I guess I'll pick- We can cut her out later. <laughs> <laughs> you eat all the oh. fish? Not I that. guess I picked that one. Is that the good one or the bad think, one? You think that one's the good one? I or? think that was the more expensive one. Expensive? No, no, I mean- So the good one? You think <laughs> that's the good one? Sheep head. You think that one's the sheep's head? Yeah. You think that was the other one? <laughs> all right, so this is my sister Rebecca, and now it's her turn to try. By the way, guys, is this shirt that she's wearing? Oh, yeah. Let pop that right here. Mm-hmm. 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 Good. Good. <laughs> you think it was good? You think that was good? Mm. The textures are definitely different. They're not salty though. I didn't think so. I don't know. Maybe I just ate this part that was really salty. I think that this one's better. The texture is better. Uh, you think that one's better? Uh-huh. So you Kelsey. think that's the sheep's head? Uh-huh. Just copy me. All right, not. saddle up. You're about to see something real <laughs> special. <laughs> All right, so this here is my brother-in-law, Jason. He's about to try these fish. So they both thought this was the sheep's head, um, and then that was the other one. I don't know. They might be right, they might be wrong. Give it a try here. All right. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, okay. Hmm, hmm. I thought they were both pretty good, but I would say that this one was the be that was the better of the two. You all thought that one was the sheep's head? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. That You guys are actually right. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <Yay>! New suits! <laughs> That's interesting though. Honestly, I like really couldn't tell a difference, but I guess they could. I don't know. It was really salty for me. What do we win? Um. 
All right, y'all, well, that is gonna be it here for this video today. So my brother-in-law, Jason, that you guys actually just saw, he actually just started his own YouTube. I'll leave that up here. Pretty much his channel is about fitness. He's like extremely knowledgeable about the whole fitness thing. Like whatever your goals for yourself are, he has like the knowledge and experience to help you get there. So he's gonna kind of walk you through the workouts that he does and his workouts at home, his workouts in the gym. He's a pretty cool dude. So definitely if that sounds interesting to you, go check him out up there. And besides that, guys, that's pretty much it here for this video today. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.